morning. Today's gonna be a bit different. Uh, it's not really gonna have anything to do with either the chickens, the ducks, the rabbits, or the garden. But I came to work and there's an interesting, well, I'll show you, it's pretty inter interesting thing that's back here behind me. Actually, leaving my station, and I always think it's pretty, pretty cool. But uh, I'll show it to you. I just thought it'd be interesting, but it's different. If you don't like this sort of thing, you can go ahead and turn off this channel now, and it'll be back to the regular stuff pretty soon. But I just thought this was pretty cool. I want to show it to you. I just brought y'all back here because I really think this is really cool. I mean, there are, there are really some old, old graves back here. I mean, man, some of them are like really, really old. Like from the 17 and 1800s. And they are really, really neat. I mean, check these out. Let me show you a layout of them. I don't know how long ago. I mean, some of the gravestones are just so old you can't even read them. I mean, they're just they're dilapidated. I'll show you this one, which is just here. Look at this. One. I mean, you see, you just can't even even make out how old they are. They're just extremely, extremely old. There's one in this section. Oh, here we go. Uh, let's see. 1881. That's when this one, that's when this person died. So, I mean, and that's when I can read. The other ones you can't even read anymore. It's just the rain and the weather, I guess, is pretty much just kind of warm down. But, Beautiful place for Grazor for his family though. It's really amazing. Just the surroundings are really nice. Solemn, quiet. But I'm gonna take some better video and I'll just give you like a tour of this whole place. It's really nice and quiet back in these woods too. It's just a perfect place for them. But I just, every time I come back here, I think it's neat. So I'll, I'll give you a tour of this whole, whole graveyard. It's pretty cool. Now the uh, 
and the old house that went with this place, or supposedly, I guess, I'm not real sure, but there's one that's right beside, but it's through these woods and dilapidated. It's pretty much fallen in on itself. So I'm assuming that's it, but I'll show you where it's at in reference to this graveyard. It's pretty cool. The woods are so overgrown, you can't even get back to it now. But anyway, I thought I'd show you this place. Place like this right here in Cedars, they got a little bench over here. Mm -hmm. Place I like, it's quiet and solemn. It's, it's really nice out here. But I was gonna bring you to work with me today and kind of show you some of the stuff. And uh, this is one of the, the highlights, I think. It's, it's really nice out here. You know, if you want to contemplate uh, <clears throat> issues you got going on, problems you think you may have, come down here and sit around for a little bit and contemplate that for a little bit. I've always heard, and I tend to agree with, any day you wake up above ground, that's a good day. <laughs> well, head back to the station now. If you ever want a place to go and sit and just kind of get your thoughts together, there's no better place than a nice secluded little old cemetery. Probably the best place it is to think at. Got done working a cardiac arrest. <clears throat> I was thinking, here it is, a week before Thanksgiving. The lady was in her 60s, I think. Yeah, she was in her 60s. But maybe early 70s, I think it was early 70s. But anyway, her chances were slim to none. And uh, like I was saying this morning, it's always a good day when you wake up above ground. <clears throat> That's hard for that poor family now. Hence the reason I like going home to my chickens, my ducks, and rabbits. Kind of puts things in perspective. <laughs> Put your mind somewhere else anyway. <clears throat> You had to dwell on that stuff all the time, it drives you crazy. But all the chickens, the ducks, and the rabbits, all their shenanigans, definitely does the trick.
get to Serenity. There's an old joke on uh, Seinfeld. You know, Serenity now. <laughs> That's pretty fun. Every morning I come out that door. Of course, it's take care of the animals and all getting them straight, but it's more like a therapy session, too, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Most of you are wet. Busy ducks. Oh, what you got to say for yourself, chickens? What you got to say for yourself? Huh? What y'all doing this morning? Huh? Any complaints? Snide remarks? Anything like that? All right. All right. That was a bit odd, I know. But I just want you to see the other side. Because these, uh, these animals are, I mean, I love taking care of them. And they give us a lot in return. But one of the big things that you really don't hear anybody ever mention is the tranquility and serenity. More like having a therapist at your house. <laughs> but anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this one. Well, we'll get back to more normal stuff. But I did want you to see the other side of it. But God bless all of you. I sincerely mean that. And I uh, hope you'll join me on the next episode. Thank you for watching.